Okay, I'm about to tap my 1440 visa on the little point of sale system at the register. And in less than a second, the screen flashes approved. That's it. I take my coffee and go. Easy, right? It looks easy, but in those milliseconds, a lot has happened. Let's go inside the card reader and see how we get from tap to latte. Imagine inside there's a tiny runner ready to run a relay race. Let's call him Charger. The tapping of my card, that's Charger's starter pistol. He takes off. His first stop, the coffee shop's bank. This bank, let's call it Coffee Bank, takes a look at my card. It has a Visa logo on it. So it tells Charger, run to Visa. They'll tell you what to do next. And so Charger takes off again at the speed of light, heading toward Visa. Now this is one of the first things you need to know. Visa is not a bank. It's a network that connects different banks. Think of it like a highway, where each off-ramp leads to a different card issuer. In this case, Coffee Bank tells Charger to take the Visa highway to my bank, 1440 Financial. When Charger arrives at 1440 Financial, he shouts, Hey, Sony is trying to buy a coffee for $5.50. Is this okay? In a nanosecond, it does some investigating. If anything seems off, maybe I'm buying coffee in a city I don't normally visit. My bank might flag the purchase for fraud. But today, everything looks fine. And so, just like that, poor Charger bolts all the way back to the coffee shop. And just as the clock is about to strike, one second since Charger took off, he hands the green flag to the coffee shop cash register. And at that exact moment, the screen flashes approved. I pick up my coffee and walk out the door. But get this, no actual money has moved yet. 